Hey, I'm Bedros Kulian and I'm a fitness marketing expert, which pretty much means I help personal trainers and boot camp owners grow their business and get more clients. And today I want to talk to you about how to grow your personal training business with sales. Now I know sales isn't the most natural thing to us personal trainers. And in fact, when I first got started in personal training sales, I was pretty bad at it. Uh, what I didn't want to be was a sleazy used car salesman or a pushy person. Uh, but what I figured out real quickly was our job is to simply transfer our feelings, right? And so when you think about transference of feelings, well, I know how I feel about fitness because I used to be a fat, overweight kid throughout junior high and high school. And I know that once I started working out and eating right, there was a big shift in my mindset and my confidence to what I looked and felt. And so I was able to then transfer those feelings to what my prospects would want, right? And by doing that, I went from being a salesperson who I wasn't really comfortable in my skin as being a salesperson to what I call the assistant buyer. And when you're the assistant buyer, you create a better rapport with your client. You, you really have a better bond with that person and they truly feel that you have the best interest at heart for them. And so the four components I want to talk to you about today is the RWBC components of selling personal training. The R stands for rapport. The number one thing you want to do with every prospect that you come across in your community who might show interest in personal training or boot camps is get them to know, like, and trust you. So building rapport is critical. And once you build rapport, a person is going to be more likely to open up to you, tell you what their biggest fears, frustrations, and desires are so that you can let them know how your personal training services can help them overcome those things, right? Which takes us to the W. And the W stands for wants. See, people might need strengthening of their lower back. They might need um, you know, building of their posture, of their core, core strength. But quite frankly, everyone always buys what they want and not what they need. So your job, my job, is to understand after we build rapport, what is it that they want out of a program? Do they want to go down by 20 pounds? Do they want to be faster, stronger? Do they just want to be leaner and have abs? And if we can identify what their wants are, we can later give them what they need once they're paying clients, right? You and I know, we, we know how that works. Now, the next thing is benefits. Now, everything you and I do, we typically, we talk about features, right? The features of our certification, the features of the equipment we use, the features of the program. Quite frankly, people only buy benefits. So what is the benefit of your certification? What is the benefit of your, of your facility? What is the benefit of your specific style of training, right? We buy benefits and not features. So make sure you really stay on point. Once you've identified their wants, how do the benefits of your services feed into their wants? And finally, and this is the thing that I struggled with the most, and I gotta tell you, when I had five personal training facilities and was the most successful in my business, this is the one thing that I had mastered, which was the close. The C stands for close, and closing is real critical, right? And what I mean by close is you don't want to make an implied offer. What you want to let your prospects or your clients know as they're sitting seated across from you, said, hey, Mrs. Jones, these are the two or three offers that we have. I think one of these two programs are going to be the best for you. Which one of these can we get you started on today? And that's really your closing script. You know, if you were to have a script, that would be your closing script at the end is I think either one of these two programs are best for you. Which of these two can we get you started on today? And that's a very deliberate and, and straightforward offer versus saying, well, so do you want to see the programs that I have? And if they're right for you, do you want to start them? See, that's more of an implied offer, right? So you want to make sure that after you've done your job, you've given them a great workout, you've built great relationship, identified their wants, talked to the benefits, that you don't drop the ball during the close time. Fair enough? Now, here's what I've done for you. I've actually put in... Uh, right, right down there on the description box, I have the link to a blog post where I talk about in great detail on how to sell personal training, uh, the mindset that you'll need, the psychology behind it, a lot of great stuff in the blog post right down below. So go ahead and click that link right down below, visit my blog, and you'll get a lot more information on how to sell personal training. I'll see you later.